Hey guys, this is Micah and today I'm showing you how I Photoshop my photos. I use Photo P and I use Blender. You do not have to use Blender. I just choose to use Blender, but you could do one of the old tricks that I used to do, which is make a green screen. I prefer to use either gray or green. Like I create a wall, I put my stem in front of the wall and then I take, you know, I pose them and I use my G shade, whatever G shade that I'm using at the time. And I use plenty of different G shades. I actually don't use that many. I think I use like seven G shades on rotation. I take my picture and then I cut my stem out. After I'm finished in Blender, I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing. What I do with my sim is a bit different than what other people do. Like they go in with like paint and stuff like that. I don't do any of that. What I do is I take my sim and I stack them by, it's kind of, it's so complicated for me to explain, but I take my, my sim and I color them however I want them to look. So I may use like a, I may turn up the saturation, turn up the vibrance, make it lighter, turn up the contrast but that may not be my final sim. I just take the sim and stack them over each other. And let's say that I want like more highlight on the nose so I make the sim more brighter. And then I would erase everything else around the sim except for like the nose area where I want that highlight to be. It's a bit complicated, but hopefully you guys can pick up what I'm doing because I just stack my sims and erase what I don't want on the sim. And then I use Whatever that I need, I just look it up and use it. And I create my own backgrounds for the most part. So right here, as you can see, I am cutting out my stem. I'm getting like as much gray off of it as possible. You see me doing like getting just fine tuning and getting little bits in there. You do not have to fine tune it this much if you don't want to. There's ways around having to do it this way, but that's just a perfectionist to me, so. you see how I stack my sim right there as you can see like the sim has like two eye shapes one is farther apart and the other one is close together but both sims has something that I wanted because one sim had color on her hair and the other sim had just her original hair and so I really wanted the one with the close eyes is the one that I kept and I also wanted the highlights of the hair so I use the sim with the far away eye the far the eyes part far away um for the hair highlight and this is where I am now this is PNG wing this is where I get most of my PNGs right here I'm adding like a white part to her mouth because it looks like she has no teeth but honestly she did have teeth I don't know what happened to them during Blender, so here I am creating her some teeth. 
I mean, it's just going to turn out to be a white line, but at least it doesn't look like she missing her teeth, you know? This is the part where people get freaked out when they're like in the middle of editing because they're like, oh, it doesn't look the way I want it to look. And it's like, just keep going. You'll be fine. Like when my mom's in here and I'm editing a picture for her, for her, she like freaks out when it doesn't look exactly the way she wants it to look immediately. But that's why it's called a process. It takes time for the picture to look exactly the way you want it to look. People get super scared because they don't know what they're doing and they immediately give up on it um, because it seems very difficult. It's not as difficult as it seems. And when you're watching a video like this, you're thinking, oh wow, she doing all of this. You see that mouse going to town, don't, don't be afraid. It's just sped up. And this is where I, oh yeah, also go to free pick. I wanted a green background and with bokeh. And so I really wanted um, to show you guys how I do my own backgrounds. And it's all about stacking and delete, um, deleting what you don't want. This right here got like the little bokehs right there in the background of them. And I like to use them versus making them because I used to make them. But when I found out that I could just go and download them, mm -mm, I, I have never made another Boca a day in my life. Here I am stacking them. I got my delete tool and I put and I, dra I dragged it down to soften the delete and that's it. That is all I do. And I do this for most of mine. Um, even when I, I color it myself, this is what I do. And yes, you can still do this without blender. And you do not need um, an expensive program like Adobe, which I had Adobe for a very long time, but it's just, it really is too expensive. And I'm using the blur tool or am I using the smudge tool? I think right here I'm using the smudge tool to smudge it out a bit and I do it until it looks good to me. And for those rigid lines, most of the time I just use um, blur. Bevel and emboss help with that too if you know how to use it. This of course is not my final sim because I had to change her up a bit because she was a bit too blurry for me. So I had to go back into Blender and switch um, the camera around to get a close up of her and still get her whole body. This is me using blur. And I'm just deleting the parts that I don't want and while I'm deleting I'm using like the soft tool that's why it looks like 
I didn't, it's no harsh lines. And I'm gonna show you right here where that's what a harsh line looks like, right there. But if you soften it, it it goes it goes right in like it meshes so well together. Right there, the hardness. And then these are the eyelashes that I use whenever my other eye, um, my eyelashes in the game don't pop too much. I just use these. She did originally have bottom eyelashes. I do not know where they went, but that's okay. I gave them back to her. And this takes practice when it comes to editing my words my fonts it is more easier for me because I used to do it in Adobe years ago so don't get frustrated just practice And we're coming up on the finished product. I hope you guys like her. Thank y'all for watching. And I do hope you guys learned something. Bye.